After a glorious week one, we got fucked week two. Proper fucked. Let's try to middle this time around. This is Mayo's Triple Play, week three DraftKings picks. Total hunch, but hear me out here. The Niners lost their entire team last week in Jersey and blamed it mostly on the shitty field conditions. And now they're back on the same field. Big yikes. No Jimmy G, no Tevin Coleman, and probably no Colonel Mossart as he's probably off searching the conservatory, trying to locate a candlestick or just dealing with knee problems. Who can know for sure? The presumed workhorse is Jarek McKinnon, who's coming off consecutive knee surgeries, running them into the ground on a terrible field may not be the best idea. That leaves Jeff Wilson Jr., king of the vulture touchdown, no matter how many backs are dressed. Cut down on that amount of running backs, and we may get more Wilson than the min price on DraftKings would suggest. Hockey, 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 oh. hockey, 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 oh. When you split fours against a six, get two double opportunities, and the dealer goes six, face, face, you realize it was all worth it. Things become trickier when the dealer has a three of diamonds hiding underneath that six. That's Deshaun Jackson against Cincy. d is second in air yards for the year with 282, which is only translated into a measly 110 actual yards. Not great. However, the Bengals are the perfect opponent to finally connect. Since the beginning of last season, since he's allowed a league high 90 big plays, well, no other team is more than 78. Add in Jalen Rager, missing that action, and all of those deep shots are going the way of Jackson. Certainly not a safe option due to both injuries and overall crappiness, but not quite cheap enough to be in the tunnel vision of the punt seekers. The Falcons fit a perfect narrative. Even with an in or out Julio Jones, Atlanta should still come out firing against the Bears. If they can do that, and that's what we're banking on here, you put Mitch Trubisky into a position where he may have to throw the ball 40 plus times. That's what we want. Sure, he may chuck some TDs and post some points. That's fine. Give any defense 40 or more shots at Mitch, and the fantasy points will follow. And even though they can't keep points off the board, the Falcons are generating pressure on the quarterback 27% of the time. That's ninth best through two weeks. <laughs> 